Lashley, where I help you perfect your skincare needs. Every single one of you, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new to this channel, why not consider subscribing? And you can join the family, we can all just geek out on skincare together. Today, I'm going to be talking about this Azaleic Acid Suspension 10% from The Ordinary. So if you guys are interested in knowing what I think, then stick around. If at any point you do like the video, I'd really, really appreciate a thumbs up because it will really help my channel out. It will also help me just in knowing what you guys are interested in. But let's just get straight into it. So before we get into this product, let's just go through what exactly azelaic acid is and what it can do for your skin. So azelaic acid is actually found naturally in the skin and it can help to exfoliate the skin a little bit. It is a lot different than your typical BHAs and AHAs. So for example, lactic acid, glycolic acid, salicylic acid. Although the results from this can be quite similar as well because like I said, it is going to help to exfoliate your skin. It's also anti-inflammatory and antibacterial and it can help with hyperpigmentation, acne and rosacea as well. So overall, there are some good benefits to using this ingredient, but let's get into this actual product from The Ordinary. So before I just tell you what I think of the product, I'm just going to show you how it applies onto the skin. Now, it is like a creamy texture and it absorbs really easily and really quickly into the skin and it actually leaves the skin like a matty kind of feel. Now, in terms of the results with this product, I do actually think I've noticed that it's actually faded my hyperpigmentation. I'm not too sure if it's been helping with any acne. Personally, I don't get that much acne. It's just a matter of when I get a spot, then I end up having the hyperpigmentation left over, and that seems to be there like forever. So when I saw that people had been raving that this is fantastic for hyperpigmentation, you know, I was straight on it. But personally, with this product, I don't particularly like how it feels. It's actually got a lot more dimethicone than it's got azelaic acid. So the azelaic acid is 10%. So you can just imagine how much dimethicone in. It's got different sorts of silicone in as well. But I don't think that's the issue. Usually, I do like a nice silky feel on the skin. And this, I do like how it like soaks into your skin. I do like how it feels. But then, it kind of like dries down really matte. And whenever I say... It's not the sort of matte I like. This is a perfect example. So if any of you have used these, you'll know exactly what I mean when I say it's not the matte I like. I don't know, it just feels very, very strange, kind of like dusty on the skin. Personally, I don't like it. I don't think it layers very well with other products. And like, to be honest, if I put it on and then I want to go in with makeup, a lot of the time it's not very good. So I kind of have to like use a towel or something to get off the little bits because it does peel quite a lot i don't know i'm not mad about the application like with the other ordinary products there's not a lot more going in the product personally i'd like a little bit more of something you know to hydrate the skin something to just moisturize the skin i don't know this i'm definitely not mad about at all will i buy it again I'm going to carry on using it if I think the results are actually worth it then yeah I might buy it again but I won't be using it under makeup I'll probably just use it at night time when I don't really care how I look I just find it's very drying I find it a very horrible feel to be honest I really don't like how it feels at all so I'm really really not mad about this but personally I do think I am going to try azelaic acid again I just think that I'll try a different brand next time and, you know, if I see the fantastic results but I prefer those formulas, I probably will end up leaning towards getting them. So overall, I don't think it's a bad product. I think it's actually a pretty good product for, you know, the hyperpigmentation and what people are actually buying it for. But I just wish they did something a little bit nicer with the consistency. I'd rather them have made it like a proper moisturiser. Because I tell you what, nobody is going to want to use this as a moisturiser personally. I don't think so. I think you'd rather not use anything than use this as a moisturiser. Because it's not moisturising. It kind of like feels like it's drying your skin out a little bit as well. And that's like pretty much as soon as you put it on. But anyway, that's basically everything I did want to talk about. It's just a short video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have thumbs up if you don't agree with me and you love this product then that's perfectly fine comment down below i'd love to know what everybody else thinks about the product themselves and that's basically everything i've thoroughly enjoyed it once again thank you every single one of you for clicking on this video thank you for sticking around to this point 
thank you for helping support my channel it means a hell of a lot to me and every single one of you keep looking after your skin and see you next time